good the, the, the morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's a morning anyway. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good one too, if you ask me. The only downside is I've got to like take a detour way around town just to get to Timmy's. I could just go to the one we went to yesterday uh, on the way out, but that one's always so busy now because everybody goes to that one. That's the backup, right? Everyone's going to the backup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the long way around so that I don't have to wait in line. But in the end, it's gonna take the exact same amount of time to get my coffee, but I think I'm smart. That's how that works. There's construction right around uh, where my main Timmy's is. And they're redoing the water lines or something. I don't know. They got the whole intersection closed down. So it's really inconvenient to get to Timmy's right now. So not a lot of people go. They usually just drive right past and go to the other one. To get to it now, you have to take Giesbrecht Street. My street. Named after my family surname. Fitting, right? You take Giesbrecht to Timmy's. That makes sense. Don't go too fast down here though. This is a residential zone. Nothing bothers me more than people who just fly through the residential zones in Steinbeck. And then you come all the way down Reimer here. And right at the end of the street, right where the construction zone closes everything off. Timmy's. This has probably got to be very bad for Timmy's business. Poor Timmy's. There we go. See, this, this whole intersection is closed off. Messes up everybody. Messes everybody up. And look at this. <laughs> no lineup. Nice. My plan worked. Hello. How do you do? Hi. Can I have a large coffee with one cream and a shot of espresso in it? All right. Is that everything? Uh, no. Could I get a sausage breakfast wrap with creamy barbecue sauce instead of chipotle? Okay. And that's it. Okay, do you want to have some mixed combo? No, thank you. And it was just a regular wrap, right? Yeah, the sausage breakfast wrap, yeah. Yeah, the cream wrap. Okay, 718, please. Super duper. Mm, Britt introduced me to that, that breakfast wrap with the creamy barbecue instead of Chipotle. Mind blasting. Life changing. Mostly mind blasting, in the words of Russell Peters. All right, so we can't go our usual way to get out of here, obviously. So we're gonna go back to Giesbrecht Street. It's the best street in Steinbach. It's got the greatest name. Everybody knows it. It's tremendous. Huge. The best. Probably. <coughs> ah. Coffee works a lot better when it doesn't go down the wrong tube. There's your daily tip from Trucker Josh. This dirty old rusty girl and me are going to Arbor today. We're going to have fun. There's my truck. We're in Volvo. In a Volvo, yeah, we're just in Volvo. Had a leaky, uh, leaking brake pod on my truck. So they suck us in this truck. It's actually pretty roomy in here. Seeing the bed back there doesn't just... Isn't it kind of nice to have a bed right there? I almost forgot what that was like already. Sort of makes you want to take a nap, right? No naps for us though. We got work to do. Gotta go to Arburg. We're running a little late now. I wasn't expecting my truck to break down. I just left the yard, just went around the corner, and it started leaking about five minutes after I left, so I was able to get it back here. Uh, I gotta get this truck ready to go. This truck smells fantastic, though. Honestly, it smells fantastic. And it's very clean. It's obviously ready for a new driver, so I better be careful not to make it dirty. Well, the floor is a little dirty there. 
just showing that just so that they don't blame that on me. That wasn't me. But other than that, the truck is very nice. Makes me want to hit the highway. To be honest with you, I like the old truck. It's like an old rustic feel. It's like almost driving a classic, you know? I have no problems with it just the way it is. I've already asked if I could uh, have a few things done to it. And if the answer is no, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. We're, uh, we're all trying to make money here. It's a for-profit operation. And if they don't want to uh, upgrade the truck right now, that's, that's perfectly fine with me. I'm happy in whatever truck they put me in. I'm in a Volvo today. I'm happy with it. It's very, it smells great in here. Like I said, <laughs> it's clean. It is nicer on the inside than my regular peat. Yeah, my peat's old, it's dirty, it's rusty, sort of falling apart, <laughs> but I like it. I make jokes about it in my vlogs, but honestly, it, all the, the old truck, it's not a big deal to me at all. I, I love it. I just want to drive it. I think my load got canceled. I was on the way there. They told me to turn around and come back and then sit tight. And I've been sitting tight. No word. So I'm going to detach from this trailer that I have here and uh, park it here. Looks like my truck had the brake pod uh, replaced already, so I won't be needing to take this truck out anywhere. But uh, it's really nice. Makes me miss the highway. <laughs> I do miss the highway, guys. I do. But... Uh, there's a reason why I'm at home every day now, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, I didn't get the cement yet. I gotta back up a little more. Yeah, I'm sticking to it. I really like what I'm doing now, too. So, I can't do everything. This guy's got a pretty crazy load here. Look at that. Picked it up at that same place that I uh, came from. It's a rolling trailer as well. back her up just a touch yeah I can't do everything you know there's so many things in this world I'd love to do I'd love to go travel to Europe too can't do everything but for now it's more important for me to be doing what I'm doing now and I'm actually really enjoying it you know like I was saying before I like the truck I drive too that old truck at least I don't gotta worry too much about scratching it <laughs> no I, I do do my best to make sure I don't scratch it you get what I mean. I'm just gonna throw these legs down. There we go, we're on the cement. I don't know what's going on. I haven't gone anywhere today. I'm supposed to be back from Marburg already. Apparently the load is put on hold, so maybe I'm gonna go get it tomorrow. I'm gonna throw my lunch kit and stuff in my pickup over there since I'm done my lunch already and I don't need to carry it around. Looks like they gave my fifth wheel a grease job while it was in there. It's nice. Let's see if we got a new brake in here. Branch spanking new. All good to go. Right on. Just had to quickly park her back in her proper spot. There we go. So I'm gonna load my stuff into my pickup real quick. I'm gonna go and park this truck back where it belongs. And I'm gonna send a message back to the load gods to let them know that my truck is fixed so they can get a hold of me through that truck if they need to. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be the day. Kind of a weird day today. That's okay, that's, I'm okay with that. It was a very interesting day. There was absolutely nothing going on, nothing to show you. I was supposed to go up to Arbor and grab that load, uh, but apparently, because there's three trucks going up there, and I was the third, and apparently they figured out a way to combine all three trucks into two, so they didn't need me. And they figured that out before I got too far. I mean, I would have gotten a, a lot further down the road had my brake not gone, that the brake pods started leaking, so I had to go back and then switch over to a different truck and then rehook onto the trailer with that Volvo and then start going again. 
And then they called me back just as I was going around Winnipeg. So had that not happened, I guess I would have been all the way up there for no reason. So they saved me a trip going up there. But at the same time, we were sort of waiting all day to see if, see if they would need me or not. Turned out they didn't. So we ended up just hanging around, hanging around a the yard there. And uh, my truck is all ready to go here. Busted up steering wheel in all rusty glory. She's good to go. And I, I do, I meant what I said before, I, I like this truck the way it is. It's, a, it's an old truck. It's a work truck, not a show truck. And I'm happy with it like that. So, uh, <laughs> I don't need a new steering wheel. I don't need new half fenders. It would be nice, but you know, if the answer is no, I'm totally fine with that. I just want to drive it, right? It doesn't matter what it looks like, really. Does it drive? Good. Good for me. It's good enough for me. You know, maybe one day, who knows, uh, if I ever end up going back on the highway again, I'd love to be able to take Britt with me. I mean, we're still trying to have kids, right? So, uh, we're uh, going to actually be starting the process of IVF very soon, which is in vitro, uh, which is the, the biggest thing you can do with the fertility clinic, and it's very expensive. And, uh, we're going to be trying this for a while. It'll take a few years to go through this. And then, you know, we have adoption on the table as well that we will consider in the future. So, I mean, if we never were able to have kids and if adoption just didn't work out, like down the road, well, I might try to convince Britt to let me buy a big custom semi with a custom sleeper that's big enough for all of us and all our dogs. We can all hit the highway together. I don't think she'd go for it, but <laughs> that would be fun go and explore again. But we'll, we'll see what the future brings, you know? Things always change. But know? thanks for hanging out today anyways, guys. Was, okay. That was all. <laughs> that was the day. We'll see you tomorrow, though. Tomorrow should be a bit more of an exciting day. we got a lot more to do tomorrow. Can't make every day exciting. We'll talk to you later.